blew up and I've got all the stuff for like the don't call me type stuff. I got two yesterday for my warranty on the car that I totaled over a year ago. Don't hang up. It, and it you said, call me and say don't hang up. Don't I am hanging up. Don't be caught <laughs> without an award. Don't be driving around. Don't be caught driving around without a warranty. And I'm like, I only had a warranty with my last car. This is only my second warranty. Well, and what about the student loans that I never took out? Yeah, well, I don't get those. Maybe they're saying that, you know, you need to go back to school. Well, I'm sure I need to go back to school. <laughs> I'm sure. Hey, Allie. Hi, there's Allie. We are solving the world's problems today. Well, I watched this new show. I can't even believe I haven't told you this because you know how I'm into it. I don't believe conspiracy theories, but I really <laughs> like to listen to them because yes, they're fascinating. You, do. you think there's always a conser conspiracy theory about everything? Against me. No, I mean, no, it doesn't. The the aliens. Oh, I don't believe know, in aliens, but it, the government. it does make you wonder. Anyway, there's on Netflix. It's called Spycraft. Oh, my goodness. Do you have any idea what they could do to be listening to us right now? I don't have Netflix. Well, you need to get it because that is one interesting show. They actually put a listening device, a microphone inside a bullet and shot it through and put it in a tree trunk next to where these people were meeting. That's so dumb. It is dumb. But hey, <laughs> and then another one. Oh, you just have to watch it. There are so many things out there. I can't even get into this. Oh, there's Frisco, but not the pharmacy. There's Edmonton. Oh. Marlene says she got her Alva today. I felt like it was safe to wear my Alva because they're coming in. They are. In fact, if you've had an Alva on order with us, here's page one of my of my list of all the Alvas. Um, high tech. Yeah, it is high tech. You <laughs> like my color coordination going on there. But if you've ordered an Alva, with the exception of one color, the Honey Brown R, everyone will have or has already received their back orders from November. I know. It's exciting. So I thought, well, I'll just put my Alva on today to celebrate. So now our rep called us right before and said, "Oh, we just want to let you know I'm putting more Alvas in the mail." And so we're happy. We're happy. Somebody says, "If you want to laugh, watch Resident Alien on the Sci-Fi Network." <laughs> so I like watching stuff like that sometimes. It's just well, I was bored. It's lighthearted, and you just it and makes you laugh. I didn't want to invest in a whole movie, and I don't. I'm not in a series right now, but I saw that. I'm like, oh, psh, let me just watch this. Is it oh, a series? It, it is, but it's like each individual, like the first week they focused on listening devices. They put listening devices when they built the in, the American embassy in Russia because they use Russian labor. I'm probably going to get like flagged by No, you're just Martin telling Zuckerberg. about the story. <laughs> Mark. But they, they use Russian labor and Russian materials. And so the Russians put listening devices and they didn't even know it for like seven years. So they had to destroy the top three floors of the whole building. You know what? It's fascinating stuff, y'all. It's probably not what people want to hear about today. Probably not. They're probably here to talk about wigs. I am. But, you know, hey, in case, just in case anybody wanted to know. South Carolina. Check out In the Dark. That sounds good. What, what channel is the In the Dark? Probably Netflix because I don't have Netflix. So I never, never, I never, ever know what's going what on. Is that noise you hear? That sounds like a wounded animal. Outside. It's an it's an alarm, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. It sounds like a one. So I asked if we had the colors of the Alva on our website. Yes, every color is listed. I went out to take some pictures of the full moon. Oh, Did I tell you this? No. It's like four o'clock in the morning because I didn't stay up late. And I get up there and there's like a planet planter box I'm up on the second level. And I get real close and all of a sudden I hear. <laughs> I'm the only one outside. I jumped a mile. So I didn't. I, I, what was it? I have no clue. I have no idea what it was. It wasn't a dog. It wasn't it was a cat. Probably one of those Mexican serial killers. Yeah, like I, I think it was an iguana store. or something. I don't know, but um, I I didn't go back to that planter box. <laughs> Kim just got back on from vacay. Y'all didn't notice. Yeah, she has beautiful pictures. Nice. I'm not jealous. I'm okay. Anyway. Just, somebody says, I don't even worry about being spied on. Just going to find me cussing under my breath at my kids and hiding cookies. Yeah, no kidding. I am not interesting. They I don't either. I have nothing good going on in my life. No. They, in fact, they might actually get a good laugh if they want to know what Americans, if Russians want to know what Americans really do. What the country folk do. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. have on? So you, you have Alva on. I have Alva on and Chocolate Frost R. What do you have on? 
I have on Cameron by John Renault in large cap and Palm Springs Blonde, otherwise known as FS17101S18. Which is, we didn't cut that one. No. There I, was a video where we cut one of her Camerons. And everybody, well, not everybody. Most people said don't cut it because that's my tendency is to make this piece here just a little bit shorter. But I'm going to leave it. I actually told her I wasn't going to do it. She'd have to do it herself. Yeah, she tells me that sometimes. <laughs> it's a lie. No, I just want her to have variety. Yes. Oh, goodness. Oh, Fresno. Oh, I love that. They grow the raisins for Collins Street Bakery's fruitcake. Oh, Collins Street Bakery fruitcake is famous. It certainly is. And they got good cookies. They have sandwiches and things now, too. Have you been oh. to one lately? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Of course, the, I don't know where the, I guess the original one is in Corsicana, but they put one in Greenville, too. Did you know that? No, yeah, I didn't know that. Well, if you're ever, if you ever find yourself in Greenville, Texas, which I don't know who would, <laughs> I think I was there going to Texarkana to visit my cousin. But anyway, all right. They want to know what modifications did you do on your Alva? None. You didn't trim the I bang didn't. or anything? No. I, in fact, that's why I keep doing this is because it's a little on the long side, um, <laughs> but I haven't worn it very much. But I, I do need to trim it. I, in fact, I have it pulled back a little farther than I should just because I haven't trimmed it. Spin it back and let them. Oh, it's hard to see because of the, my dark shirt. It's that movement. Remember that lady? It's all about the movement. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a the back of my camera. Actually, you know what? If you were to take your Cameron and my Alva and just cut a bang in yours, we would look the same. It's kind of the same length. So if somebody were to want something hand tied, fully hand tied, um, yeah, because this is just machine made. Collins Street in Waco. Is that the original? I have no idea. Why? Yeah, Alva, Alva comes with bangs. Um, Missy hasn't done anything to it. it. It just comes like that. The bang is fantastic. It's light. It's wispy. It's not too heavy. Oh, Chicago's here. My first client this morning was what has been waiting on that Alva. And she came in and she got it. She's like, I don't know how I'm even going to justify this to my husband. And she's like, well, the only thing I can say is... This was my Christmas present. I've had it on order all this time. So I'm like, hey, whatever it takes. <laughs> That's right. All right. So we're going to talk about Tony Beverly. Tony Beverly has been around so long and they're really one of the, I don't want to call them pioneers because that sounds so old fashioned, but they really kind of paved the way for the top quality wig industry so there were a lot of wig companies out there but as far as perfecting the fiber and making it better and obviously other companies have shown up since then and um you know now the top quality synthetic wigs are readily available and there are so many different styles and colors and that type of thing but we tony beverly i think sometimes gets overlooked i think so too and um somebody just actually asked how is the show and tell is coming this today kind of came from a show and tell idea it's coming good we've got a lot of responses um so some of the things are brands that we don't carry so it's going to take us a little while to get those in but we're getting to them yeah. i have them all listed out so if you haven't given us your idea send it to mwigboutique at gmail.com for a, either a color or a style or both and we'll try to get to it but um somebody actually said there's been a lot of hype lately about tony beverly mm -hmm. and so Kim and I were talking, we're like, why don't we just show, like, their most popular colors? Their color line is enormous. They have the biggest color line uh, with more variety than any other company that I know of. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I don't, do you know how many colors they make? I know that <laughs> one of my friends watched the video, one of the original videos we ever, ever, ever first did so long ago about Isla when Isla came out. And I made a big deal to say 44 colors, and I've been made fun of for that ever since. So I know I've... Isla comes in 44 colors. So that's not <laughs> even all of the ones that they make. So their color range is enormous. Yeah. But they're not making, of course, all, some of their newer stars. I think they've tried to weed out some of those colors because I think it's kind of unrealistic to think you can make every style in 40 plus colors. You know, but oh, there are a lot. 44. 44. I think I even did that. 44. <laughs> No, I'm done. What can I say? All right. Someone's asking, will the length, that length fray quickly? Yeah. You know, anytime you have it on your collar, it's going to fray a, fast, a little bit faster. If you could start going down your back, then it's going to fray a lot faster. Right. So, and it also just depends on how much you wear it. I right. mean, I tell people, if you've got shorter wigs, 
on a day-to-day -day basis, try to wear your shorter ones, save your longer ones for when you have to. But when it comes down to it, if you are a wig wearer and you're wearing wigs consistently day in and day out, you're just going to have to look at that as an investment, whereas you would be investing in a hairstylist and a hair colorist and all that. It really kind of equals itself out. And it is just an amazing satisfaction to know you can go out in the rain or whatever weather and your hair look good and everybody else look like crap. Sorry. Marita is watching us on her phone while she's getting medical tests. Hey, Marita. Hey, Marita. You better not be sick, girl. Hi, there's Lynn Brady. Hi, Lynn. Every time she posts her picture in that ahead of the curve in the SS4460, we get a barrage of calls. <laughs> she looks so good. <laughs> well, that is like her color. That's your color, girl. All right. Are you Gosh, ready? it's like you want to get to what we're going to do, but then you want to answer another question. Right. Well, and yes, the, we sell Jackson by Noriko, Tony. When um, your customer you were talking about that got the Alvin champagne, mm -hmm. She was like, I know I'm going to go. I know you have to get ready. And she was like, it's just so much fun. I'm like, you know what? It's she goes. I mean, if y'all met people, I'm like, you know, we're excited to see who's here and mm -hmm. say hi. And, mm -hmm. you know, some people we talk to on a regular basis and others we don't. And then there's new people. And so we get distracted. So I'm sorry, but it's just we always like to say hi if we can. One day we'll just do We did this once before and it turned out really good. We just did a Kel Q&A. We didn't have a plan. And so whatever came up on the, the screen, we just tried to answer as it came up. So, um, Marlene, we do have the Milano wig grips on our uh, website. There's a search section. You can just put wig grip, no spaces, W-I-G-R-I-P, and it'll pull up. And then you can just choose what color you want. Mm -hmm. Can't live without those. Yes. England's here. Awesome. North Carolina for the first time. Hi, Donna. All right. Oh, Kathy says she's defrosting the fridge. Well, I hope that we are more fun than that. I hate defrosting a fridge. I don't know that I've ever done that. You're too young to know how that goes. No, I, I'm not. I, we did the freezer, but I, my ex-husband did it. I didn't have to do it. Yeah. Because if it were up to me, trust me, I would just get a trash can and throw everything in there away. It's the frost on the inside. I know, oh. but then you got to worry about keeping that cold while it in, or get the hair dryer. I'm like, no, just forget it. We don't need a freezer. Who needs I a can freezer? remember my, my grandmother's freezer it. was metal, and you went after it with an ice pick <laughs> because just, it was thick. Who needs a refrigerator, period? <laughs> you just eat it all the time. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's like, do something we planned on doing. Okay. So, most popular... I don't want to even say most popular, most talked about. Yeah, this is the, you know, these, these are, are the things that come up get questions often. about. All right, <clears throat> um, we've done Jackson. I mean, we carry Jackson. We sell a lot of Jacksons. Um, we used to order Jackson in Sandy Silver, which um, is not part of their color line, so we have it custom made for us. So, uh, Tony, if you want to see it, email us on the show and tell. That's an easy one. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that done for you. Oh my gosh, this is like a kid size. Was yours really tight? Well, I don't even know if I can get this on. Something is wrong. <laughs> my help. brains are growing. Ma Ma'am, let me help you out. Have you ever? This is not right. Well, okay. I think you picked poorly because mine was fine. Well, I think you picked. <laughs> well, okay. All right, so where are we starting? All right, uh, let's see. Give me this mouse over here. There's no rhyme or reason, and some of these, they're mixed up styles. We did a lot of Starly, though, because Starly's still not getting the attention she needs to get because they're not advertising it. So a lot of these are going to be Starly. Susan is on her way to see us. Oh, right now? I don't think right now, but I, I think, like, this week. Oh, cool. All right, so this time I tried to put the, the name of the wig and the color at the bottom because I think sometimes it gets lost at the top, so just look at the bottom. You know, and I think this wig, Tasha, is so pretty. Oh, and it's do. another one of those that you just don't hear a whole lot about. The people that wear Tasha are extremely loyal, and they usually have a lot of them because they're cute. It's just a good, I mean, no-bang bob. I can't even count how many of these starlings I've got a bang in the last week to two weeks. This is the minx. Okay, so color-wise... These are kind of two of their, these are the two most popular grays they have. Mm -hmm. You have that color in. I have, um, yeah, I have this color. It's, um, it's more of a champagne or 
little bit more golden than what you're going to get. But for people that have brown hair and they gray, they typically don't gray pure white. Well, that is pretty on you. That style and that color, I think you need it. You think I need it? It's a little bit shorter in the back than the front. So this is the Tasha. So it has a little bit of an A-line look. Um, Can you cut a bang in this? Why? Somebody's going to ask, and I would say I have, but I would say no. Look how pretty that sweeps to the side. Whereas mine, this is shorter, so it cuts a bang really easy. But when, you know. For whatever reason, the wig does not cut, cut a bang well. And so, you know, if you want this with a bang, you're really better off finding a different style. Shoot. So Meeks is a little bit the middle, a little bit more silver color. That's a little bit more the champagne color mm -hmm. of the grays. So, All right, you want to switch? Sure. Tasha is sexy hair. It's pretty on you. It really oh, is. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I mean, you can't even hardly let me out of the house. You need help. Here, um, let me help. You hold this. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank You're you. You're free. Thank you, Peggy. Another thing about Tony and Beverly is they're so comfortable. Yeah, they have a stretchier cap, and they're super comfy. Um, they're They used to always put hooks in the back, which... That is not my favorite by any means. Mm -hmm. They're starting to do more with um, Velcro adjustable straps. Oh, that's pretty on you, Misty. Well, that's prettier on you. Mm, no. Another thing I was talking to someone this morning is I think Tony Beverly is going to be a good thing for the summer because they are so lightweight. Yeah, agreed. So, but Silverstone and Minx. Yes. All right. All right. Moving right along. All right, this are two not technically gray wigs, but they're kind of following the gray family. And this is the rooted blue ice. That rooted blue ice is so pretty. It is. It's got this like teal color root. It's not very vibrant, and so sometimes the blue wigs have this, like, vibrancy. This is kind of more muted. And Lynn says her first wig was Tonya Beverly Logan. Uh, I had a Logan as well. Mm -hmm. I had a Logan in maybe Hot 12 Cocoa. Highlight 6, 12 something. Highlight 6. Yeah, I loved my Logan. Dylan's a, I always forget about Dylan until we put it on someone or I put it on myself. So this is a lace front with a uh, full mono. Yeah, a full mono top, a little bit of layering around the face. Uh, the the different, I think it's Mitzi, is asking the difference between the rooted blue ice and the new Kate that we got. The rooted blue ice is a teal blue, um, and I I don't think you can really see it, but it's more of a teal blue, whereas the pastel blue R is more on the purple side. Yeah, and it, that's a good thing I did to do, just do all the rooted grays again because we've done that before yeah. but um this is pearl mist that i love this color yeah it's pretty when they came out with this color and it was called pearl mist in my mind i'm thinking oh it's just going to be another like champagne -y, blondie gray color no this has got that deep dark undertone down here and then the the color on top it's it's so pretty i love that yes. and i was excited when we had that in tasha i'm like oh we're gonna do this today yeah so so I said Dylan kind of looks like one of the Rock Hill Welsh dolls. It kind of looks like Big Time. Or the Aaliyah. But it's regular. Well, I'm Aaliyah's regular know. fiber, but um, Dylan's regular fiber. Um, yes, it is. Uh, Mitzi, it is more white than the um, Kate. You get a good look. Again, super shiny. We're under some bright lights and so uh we control that with dry shampoo pearl mist Is that pearl mist? It's, pretty, it's everything's it's pretty, pretty on you no it's pretty it's just a pretty color i'm really proud of them for doing this because it's the only other company that kind of has something like that is the chocolate frost and 
that has that here it is mm -hmm. that i had on earlier so it has that darkness underneath with a highlight on top and so they've done this with a really cool color which i mean some people can think this is gray but do you think it's gray no it's it has definitely some cool tones but it's just oh it's just a good color aria has a lace front with a machine made cap someone was asking yes um, and which is a short kind of is the root of blue eyes a brighter white than minks well um, let's show the minks again have... um all right here's minks and one's more silver and yeah i look think to the side because minks kind of has that i think the root of blue eyes ice is white whiter mm-hmm and Slight. it's more kind of, I don't want to say all one color, but this is more salt and pepper where it's a blend of grays. That's more all platinum with just the root. Someone wants to know how much each one, how many wigs we each have. I have no clue. No clue. I don't have as many as you have. Near as many. Well. In fact, I, I keep all my wigs here. And that's well, why I had to take my home. Because I'm out of room in my little cubby area over Yeah, there. I did. I had to take. Ooh, I like pearl mist. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on to some reds. Okay, this cognac color. Oh, that that was the color of the week last yeah, week. Yeah, it was. It was. I don't know how many of those we got in. I just we just kept ordering and kept ordering. And I know that our rep was probably thinking, what are they doing with all this cognac? Well, every time we turn around, someone's wearing cognac again. It's like, what is up? But it, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful color. And this is Fiesta. Which we showed this last week, I think, on the Karis. Um, this is the Karis when we debuted this style. Which is like a strawberry blonde. It's a real pretty. This is really close to the FS27 from John okay. Renault. That is wrong. <laughs> I can't get this right. Well, good thing we're just looking at colors. <laughs> Yeah, this hat, I mean, it's got some beautiful color dimension to it with highlights, lowlights. They describe that as a medium brown with rosewood highlights, but I don't see that. It's more of a real true auburn. Well, and some blonde. the rosewood that they make is another beautiful mm -hmm. kind of auburny red. It's just mm -hmm. lighter than this. Cognac's pretty. And if you're not part of the, the Facebook group, the Wig Chicks VIP, um, there's a girl named Lori in there, and she just bought this, and she posted her picture in it. So if you want another idea of what it looks like on a different skin tone and everything, it's a really, really pretty color. All right. All right. Let's switch. Yeah, these bangs are weird, so y'all just... Is that Karis? Look at color. It's like when I was in church growing up, we used to have this lady, and she would sing a special, and she'd always, before she sang, she'd always say, y'all just... Just listen to the words as I try to sing this song. <laughs> so just look at the look color. At the <laughs> <laughs> we... Oh, goodness. Memories. Oh, how close are Fiesta and Sangria? I would have to refresh my memory on Siesta. I'm um, on Sangria. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit darker. Uh, let me it's just somewhere in let me between. Just pull one. Okay. We'll just. I don't know. We'll just figure it out. Oh, I'm not thinking, I was thinking sangria. I don't know if we have a sangria. That reminds me of a song. You know, the one that says, I can't remember who song, sings it. Your lips taste like sangria. I don't know that one. Well, I can't. It's, I'll have to do it for another show. Yeah, I think. Okay. All right, moving right along. Are we going to change? You started. Oh, in we this did. One. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, more reds. Oh, thank you. Yes, Blake Shelton sings that song. Okay. Right. All I know about Blake Shelton is um, the voice. He's got so many different songs. It's crazy. All right, this is Dark Auburn. This is Harlow in Russet. Harlow is a super cute, lightweight, if you want kind of a bob, but you still want a neckline, 
and you don't want a lot of hair, Harlow's great for that. So the the rest. Oh it... no! I I rolled. What did I I roll for? Oh, because she didn't know the song. I know. I never know a song. I never know a movie. I never know a show. And so Misty always knows the songs, <laughs> and she can sing them, and she can pull them up. And so the fact that I knew a song before and she didn't. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. Was try quite. I shocking. wasn't here to catch that eye roll. <laughs> shame, shame. I know. And we all do our share. Okay, so let's shut that. The rest, it, it kind of has like a, a brown. I don't know how to really describe it. How would you describe this? Well, I'd say it's got a, a darker brown base, but they've run some highlights through it that are kind of coppery. They're kind of coppery, but then right in, and I mean, it's really blended, but then you can see some little bitty streaks of blonde. Kind of reminds me of the hazelnut color. Oh, from by Raquel. Raquel. Right. So if you if you know your different color lines, that's oh, why we say all that. Don't look at Ruth's comment. Why? What did Ruth say? I don't see it. It's at the bottom. Well, next to the bottom. <gasps> okay. Payback is hard. But we didn't even talk about dark auburn. I think this is the prettiest red they made okay. from Tony Beverly. What have I done here? This is such a pretty color. Okay, I'll show you the back of the... Did you not turn around in your car? I thought I did. Well, you didn't. Maybe somebody was rolling their eyes and didn't I'm going to try not to roll my eyes over that. I know I did. Surely, to goodness. Just kidding. I love dark auburn. Oh, yeah, I love dark and it's, I mean, you can't see it, but it also has, I mean, it has color dimensions. So no, nothing they're making is monochromatic. Okay, so neckline for Harlow. And we'll give a side view. See, it has a little bit of a stack, but still has these. And you can pieces. do it kind of towards your face if you like, or it's cute tucked. Um, Dark auburn is not purple. Um, it's not cool. It's not cool, but it is not overly gold either. It's pretty no, well it balanced. Has a, maybe a, like a blue base. It's it's just a real. It's it's just really pretty. Um, as far as getting height on top with Dylan because it's hand tied, it's not. Oh, Malfalfa. Um, it's not going to have a whole lot, but with um, the powder pump. I always want to call it powder puff. It's powder pump. You could use some of that, or you could um, use some other thick products to get some yeah. volume. Yeah, but you can see, I mean, just working with your fingers, you, even though it's hand-tied, you can you can definitely get height at the crown if you want it. It's it's a really pretty wig. Now, do we have our, uh, Tasha on our website? Mitzi says we don't. We don't? Hmm. I thought we did. I'm sorry. Now it's my turn to eye roll. What am I doing? I don't even work. I don't even do my job. I'll add it to the website. That it is needs not to be on even true. Misty works very hard. Oh, I didn't change. There we go. Yeah. And um, today, I did absolutely nothing to help her. Yes, she did. She was doing other things. Okay. Now to some browns. She says only Natasha by Amore comes up. 